From the moment the 2009 schedule was released for the Pitt Panther football team, November 14th was the day circled on the calendar. This is, in essence, Pitt football at its finest. Prime time on ESPN, and if there's any question about the atmosphere, just ask the fans behind me. From the time they came out of the tunnel, the Panther fans made it their personal mission to take the fight right out of the Irish. But Notre Dame wasn't about to lie down, especially on national television. On the opening drive, Pitt managed to get into field goal range thanks to some hard running by freshman Dion Lewis and a roughing the kicker penalty on a Dan Hutchins punt. Hutchins, who handles Pitt's kicking duties as well, cashed in on a 34-yard attempt, giving his team an early 3-0 lead, and that's how it would stay in the first quarter. Notre Dame's Eric Moss would also add a field goal of his own midway through the second, and it seemed as though we were all tied in a defensive struggle as both teams were making their big plays on defense. Though as they always seem to do, the Panthers offense answered the call right before halftime. The Panthers roared down the field as Deion Lewis ripped off a 21-yard run that was followed by a 21-yard pass play from Bill Stahl to Jonathan Baldwin, who was left wide open in the middle of the field. Bill Stahl said, hey, if you're not going to cover my man JB, I'll throw it to him all night. Really, I'll do it. And then he said, I told you so. This time he connects to Jonathan Baldwin for 36 yards and six points as the Panthers go up 10 to three at the break. Baldwin had a great day of his own, finishing with five catches for 142 yards and that touchdown. When you talk about a statement game, uh, that, that, that kid tonight made two catches that uh, uh, he does things that you don't coach. Let me just say that. Here's another thing you can't coach. In the third quarter, Ray Graham takes the handoff, doesn't like what he sees. He reverses field, makes a guy miss, and rumbles down the sideline. All the attention goes to Deion Lewis, but Ray Graham is also a true freshman. He gets all the way to the two-yard line before finally being brought down by Irish defenders. And on the next play, he finishes what he started. Ray Graham goes 55 yards on two plays all by himself, and the Panthers are up 17. On the next possession, Notre Dame would respond. Jimmy Clausen on a fourth and one sells the play fake and connects on a 45-yard strike to Michael Floyd. On the first play of the fourth quarter, Clausen caps off the drive, calling his own number and dives into the end zone from a yard out. However, they would miss the extra point. The Panthers would answer right back as Deion Lewis takes matters into his own hands. Just embarrassing Irish defenders with move after move, going 50 yards untouched all the way to the house. Desperate to stay in the ball game, Jimmy Clausen was able to orchestrate an 11 play, 71 yard drive, finding his playmaker, Golden Tate, who fights his way into the end zone, breathing some life back into the Irish. Pitt failed to pick up a first down on the ensuing possession, and the Panthers were forced to punt. Golden Tate back to receive the kick, and just like that, Tate takes it 87 yards for the score, and all of a sudden, the Irish find themselves within a touchdown thanks to their junior wide receiver. The most dangerous football player that we've seen opponent-wise was Golden Tate, and uh, he, he didn't, didn't disappoint us today. I mean, he, he you know, made some great plays out there. In the end, it was Pitt who was able to come up with the big play when they needed it most. Greg Romeus gets the sack on Clausen, forcing what we thought was an incomplete pass, but the refs review the play. They call it a fumble. Pitt recovers, solidifying a hard-earned 27-22 victory. And from there, the emotions just took over. This guy blocked me. This guy, Forces number one tail off. in the country right here. Number Backbone. Country. Him and our offensive line. I love him. The seniors will remember this forever, but I think this game probably benefits the young kids. You know, we had about 100 recruits here today. And, uh, you know, you, you, I can sit in their home and talk to them for six hours about, about university and, and our program. Uh, three hours of what happened out there in the field speaks volumes. I circled this game. And I wanted to, you know, make sure I, I was, you know, able to, you know, play for this game. And obviously, you know, the stage was going to be set. Playing a great team, Notre Dame, going against a great offense, uh, great coaching staff, great defense. Um, 
the tradition is just awesome. And uh, great, you know, it, was, it was awesome to be a part of it. Reporting from Heinz Field, this has been Justin Downs for Palestra.net, the College Network.